Good evening and welcome to Friday Night Show. Sid, Sid, shut up, shut your mouth and listen to me. Eight man tag match. Eight, that's too many men for a tag match. It's four men, two on two, but we've gone two on two on two on two. Eight men in the main event. It's multi-man season. It's mayhem. Mayhem. Right, forget an introduction then. My co-commentator here, Henry Winter, is that excited? Let's mayhem. head straight to ringside and start the show. Please welcome to the ring first. Young Horace! Oh, this guy. Who got his 20th Trump. loss. <laughs> 20th loss last week. But it was, it was for the Around the Clock Championship. It was for the Around the Clock Championship. And let's be honest, he didn't do himself a disservice. He, he put in another good performance. He's just not getting the results. He just isn't getting the job done. Is it a few slight tweaks and you may get that first win here that you get up in. Those of us on T-shirt watch, the T-shirt is back on this week. Doesn't miss a trick here, Henry Winter. <laughs> Just, I've got a tally chart. I wonder if he needs me to help him with his merchandise. No, listen, like you say, he's 20-0, but definitely more recently these performances have, have picked up. He's just, he's just not getting the win and eventually it'll come. No, no, he's got something to say here. Uh, is he going to acknowledge his 20th loss on the bounds? <laughs> he's developing a streak, like, but not unlike the Undertaker's, just the wrong way around. Evening. Are we on tonight? Yes. yes. So if you may know, usually week by week I'm doing an open challenge. I've spoken to management this week, but for someone very specific in mind. This person I trained with, of five years ago. He doesn't even know that I'm here. He doesn't know who I am. He's been making waves since he returned, catching championships, destroying factions, getting a love from all of you. But this man I'm going to call out personally, I don't know if he's going to accept it. JPR, oh. I'm challenging you directly. Bold call. Oh, my goodness, JPR won. He's, he's on momentum. He's building up for his great race. Ash match. He's, he's coming. Bold <laughs> call. <laughs> it's a big call, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for the kid. He's, he's picked a guy twice his high, twice his weight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the chain around his neck's bigger than Horus. <laughs> Right, listen, let, just as another Henry Winter watch, <laughs> if he takes that hat off and brushes his hair again, I'm going to lose my mind. Hey, he might, he might just think he's get ready. That might be what gets him ready for a match, that, that comb on that hair. Listen, we need to discuss this because Young Horace obviously on the losing streak. He talks about it a lot. He, he brought it to all of our attention. There's two things that we need to talk about. One, he seems to be in a better and better mood the more he loses, so do we, do we want him to win? That's one. The other thing is, you've got to start wondering, is he deliberately calling out people that realistically you wouldn't expect him to get a result against to try and t make the losses easier? I don't think that. Is he going for that? Beat someone we don't expect him to win to try and move up the ladder 10 la ten instead of just one row? Potentially. I mean, listen, at this point, to use a football metaphor, the kid just needs one to go in the back <laughs> of the net. Whether it comes off his rear end or his face, he just needs a goal, doesn't he? <laughs> I think you mean he needs the one, two, three. He absolutely does need the one, two, three. <laughs> Opening contest tonight, a Friday night showdown. Is there anything better than when that first bell goes on a Friday <laughs> night for showdown? We have a man, 20 and 9 losses, trying to make that first win here against JPI, who's after the momentum to go into our great British bash when he's challenged Kim and Carlisle to finally end the collective, shall we say? Well, let's just end Kim and Carlisle, that would be a bonus <laughs> for everyone, wouldn't it? JPR adding a bandana, it seems, to the gear this I'm week. I'm gonna know. Did you know if he combed that head? I didn't. I don't think he did tonight, you know. Oh! JPR obviously overheard the football metaphor that I tried to make work a little bit earlier. 
Oh, both men fast are you? Oh, we oh, saw this oh, last week. Oh, oh, Ghosting oh, in behind Horace and that big but, clothesline. That's something new from Horace. We've seen him now. Get in the minute, going outside, get in the air. That's smart. Does well, it took 20 years? Something that, something that you and I talk about a lot is experience and people's. Oh, you know, oh, did he land on him? What has happened? Ref has got to check in here. If JPL lands on young Horace here, this one's over. And I don't mean this match. I, I, I think mean, that was just throwing his whole body weight at I mean, Horace there. is over. <laughs> no, the fight's still in young Horace. I honestly thought for a second <laughs> that we were going to peel young Horace up like a cartoon <laughs> car crash, like he was going to come up perfectly flat. <laughs> Has he got the strength to get out? Three elbows, still not broken. Four, just enough, I'm going to say there. Yeah, before we were rudely interrupted by that huge <laughs> clothesline off the apron. Oh, the dirty cheat there. Raking them eyes off. Oh, oh, there's that young horror showing us he's ready for the grip. Flash. You saw what? Did you say, did you, why is he talking to Why is he having a go at us again? <laughs> I'm trying to point, I'm trying to say, is he ready for the Great British Bash and then he's having a go? Oh! Like, oh! Horace got squashed, the front row got squashed. Oh. Listen, what yeah. Horace is showing us now, we talked about this, 20 and 0, the important figure there is 20, that's 20 matches where he's gained experience and he's adding to what he's doing. We saw the ring house earlier when he got out of the, we saw him rake the eyes which we might not like it but it was effective uh, I'm going to see everything we've seen tonight from him is effective that 20 lunar stick has given him this experience that tonight is looking good this crowd willing JPR to fight back I would feel I know you're going to say it poor cover it was atrocious cover not, not hook cover. of the leg he's not the biggest guy he's trying to pin a ginormous guy come on you need to hook that leg make him work it's a good job JP had to brush the hair. It would have been a waste. <laughs> nice it, edge chop. Is it why he's chopping a man that size? I mean, is he just going to annoy him? <laughs> That's the worry. Oh, he's, he's strikes it. What a solid kick. JP is still on his feet, though. Oh. Barely. <laughs> Size and strength advantage of JPR, they're just reversing the Irish whip. But it was into the Where speed is Horace going Harris? here? Going? Oh. oh, oh, catches him. Oh, oh a modified head scissors almost coming using the rope to come make the difference up in the height between the two that of them. That was a very risky move. If JPR had have caught him, they could have just power bombed him probably out this arena. I'll tell you something else. I mean, we, we talk about that he's gaining experience. He needs to spend less time trying to look at our pretty faces and more time focusing on the match. I'm going to say, all this experience he's gaining and the, what, the good that we've seen tonight is then looking at us, being distracted by us again. I am very attractive. <laughs> so I can understand why. It's like now he's gone back to these old ways where he's given his opponent time to recover, time to catch the breath. Yeah, and JPR is a guy that you need to stay on. You don't want to, you don't want to recover. We've seen the power of JPR. We saw it in that first clothesline that we did. On a oh. huge bulldog. Bulldog. Into the cover again. Oh, hooks the leg this time. It's only a two, but the effort there, JPR, to use, you could see how much hard we had to kick out. Well, actually having to kick out. <laughs> This is just easily pushing him up. Referee just checking. JPR's good to continue there. Coming off the ropes. Line again. Oh, no, another huge two close one. Oh, catching it. Looking for the cover. Oh. Come on, JPR, hook the leg there. What's JPR looking for here? Yeah. It looks like he's got him in some sort of cross face. Uh, trying, to, trying to get a look on the monitor. Mo modified cross face, we call it. 
Yeah, it's some sort of, it's like a cross face cum bulldog choke almost. It's somewhere in between, but put it on far too close to the ropes and Horace able to reach out and grab the ropes. I think this crowd obviously hoping JPR was going to get it done there with the submission. Ball. Wheel barrel. Oh, into the knee. JPR rocking. Oh. Another firm strike onto the back. What's he looking for here? Oh, running knee. JPR, it's not looking good there. Is this Get into the cover, hook that outside leg. It's a two. Again, young Horace just taking too much time. That exasperation, those moments of like, what do I need to do? You need to just stay on him. It's it's that I'm guessing it's that 20 and oh, it's in his head. He's like, yes, yes, yes. And then they kick out and he's like, what what do I need to do here? Yeah, he's not just reacting to the physicality, he's reacting emotionally to what's going on. Oh, Jim went for that red one DDT but reverse it by young Horace. Just taking him down. Knees to the to the hamstring there. Trying to take out. We know JPR obviously struggling with a bum wheel last week. So, um, well, that power oh. advantage is this. Oh! Red rum DDT hit. Into the cover. This could oh, be it. the leg. Oh, she Victory here for JPR. He is on the winning streak here on the way to Great British Bash. It's worth saying as well, Kim and Carmel once again not attending Showdown despite his contractual obligations. Has he been scared when JPR called him out? Well, I assume what he's doing is he's focusing on the match he's going to have with JPR, but what's happening at Showdown whilst he's not here is JPR is building up momentum. JPR has got the Got the ball rolling in his favour. JPR oh. soaking in the air. Uh, and even a clap from Young Horace to JPR there. We've got a lot of better winner. A lot better. 21. Now at 21 losses on the bounce here. There it is, JPR referring to it. One more one more week to go. Then he gets Kim and Carlisle. The thing is. Have we got anyone out there to ask him and Carlisle why he's not here? Well, listen, from, from my experiences of... From my experiences of Kim and Carlisle, of which I have many, his mindset will be avoid showdown, avoid JPR, try and get into his making his way to the ring, accompanied by the Persian Empire, the UK wrestling champion, the Persian champion, must Worse than being interrupted. <laughs> being interrupted for this clown. Hey, it wasn't just him, it's the whole Persian Empire. For well, these right? clowns, <laughs> you're right. Syntax is important, CDP. Come on, we know they don't we know they don't come on their own. We know they come as a team. Oh, only three though. Whoa, who's missing? Oh, is Wolf Boy still in the doghouse? No, it's big Duncan that is not. Where we, we is have. Funky Dunky? We, Mustafa Khan. That wouldn't be a very good Where's no. Wally book, would it? Where's Funky Dunky? It'd be across the book, the two page spread. You'd open the page, you'd be like, oh, I've got a new book, it's Where's Funky Dunky? And you open it up and it's, oh, well, he's there. Clearly. Well, he's Stinky and Wolf Boy here. Saw Wolf Boy in the doghouse, obviously, last week. Stinky letting herself down. Let's hear what old man's got to say. Like a sweet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are they referring to Big Dunk? <laughs> it's a valid question. No respect at all. Show up and sit down. Right, you know, I ain't even gonna waste my time with you, Lord. Good, go. I wanna talk about the Great British Bash. And you know what? I wanna lay the law down. I don't care what number I am in the British Bash. I don't care if I'm first. I don't care if I'm last. 
This belt is going to stay on me. It's going to stay on the Prager Empire. No one is going to beat uh -huh. me for this belt. Mustafa can't knock him on other people or he'd shut his mouth, I feel. And ignore him now. Oh, he looks very grumpy. It's probably all the losses they've sucked up as of late. It's all I can say. He's just a big young Horus at this point. The Persian Empire. I'm going to be the Persian Empire. I'm going to dominate this room. And I guarantee you, I'm going to walk out champion. Mustafa! A uh, worthy round of applause for CDP. It's 30 men in that ring. 30. It's random number draw. Random. You could be number one. Number one. Yeah, and, what? and if you get eliminated, eliminated, anybody is eligible to go for that UKW championship. That's meaning Jonathan Cedric can win that title back. That is what it means. It means Cedric can win it back. Jonathan is not allowed to step in the ring and face me for that title. You know it, I know it. You if you're know. eliminated and Jonathan Ennett is after, he is not eligible for it. I will not get eliminated because you know the Persian Empire have been given strict instructions what they need to do. And I guarantee you, I will walk into this ring as a UK WWE champion and I will walk out the UK WWE champion. So I'm saying the Persian Empire had instructions to not lose matches last week. He does look very sad. Said you've upset him. I think I've annoyed him with that Thank car. Thank you for ruining his day. He needs to realise. He's talking about the Persian Empire have strict instructions. I'm sure his instructions were you know for them both to lose last week. You just totally ruined my mood. I'll tell you what I would I'm in a mood to break someone's neck. Oh. <laughs> so you know what, a couple of weeks ago, oh, some idiot apologize. was running his mouth, wanting to have a go on Mustafa Khan and the Persian Empire. So tonight, my man, you're going to get your chance to face me in this very ring. But you know what, I'm a very kind man. I'm going to let you face the UK WWE Champion Mustafa Khan. She stinks. One on one, the Persian Empire will not get involved in this match. Oh. You understood? Oh, what did he? Yeah? So oh. you're on hold. We, we, we you're mentioned on hold. they were backing down. The they are not backing down for a challenge. He's Are called someone out. Get your scrawny ass out here now. He has, he has said Do both boys stink you with them. Just to save them the efforts of running the like, the, like, the like we know they like to do. But this is the first time. We've seen my dad. Mustafa Khan going against him on the challenge. That He's is, challenged them. He's up for it tonight. You can see they're ready. There he is. He's telling his team no involvement. He has been very clear when the match starts no involvement. That would be great to call. Finally, we don't have to watch all the outside for the interferences that Persian Empire have been doing week in, week out. Also, it's worth noting, this might be the most follically challenged yeah! match. where Big Duncan was, he's answered this question. Do you ever feel like a kid at uh, Christmas when there's uh, no presents under the tree? Ah, uh, it was so close. Ed, all they had was, to do was, was slide in and he's got it. The old man was super clear. No one's allowed to do anything once the match starts. So these three morons jump in before the match starts. And so this is true to his word. We can't say it isn't. He said they wouldn't get involved in the match. He's... A oh. bad, bad man. Oh. Come on! No need for this, guys. Come on! Well, I hope it makes Wolf Boy and Stinky feel better about the losses they took last week. Oh! 
Oh! Wow! Oh, his head just coming straight off that ring post. Oh! Ref, you can't ring that bell until he's until he says he's ready to go. The ref. The ref has called it. No. Oh, Joe. Ah, we thought we would get a genuine chance tonight. My dad thought it was going to be one on one. You could see how happy he was. How happy we were! <laughs> it was like, wow, we're going to see him take a chance. Oh! Oh! <laughs> if one wasn't enough, he always makes it two. I should have realised that he's not going to go anywhere without Shamu. <laughs> Hey, he's the enforcer of the Persian Empire. Would you go anywhere without Big Duncan? I wouldn't go anywhere with Big Duncan. <laughs> it just just hasn't even been able to get going well, there's yet. There's no point. What, we gonna, what are we going to do? Call this like it's a match? It's a match, is it? No, this is a beatdown. We've seen them do this to people week in, week out. Oh, no. Oh, it's been interesting to see. He out said. To the wolves. Oh, no. Oh, well, oh you come me on. In your stupid oh. face, Sidney P. You're too, trusting. You're too trusting, Sid. I'm sick of telling you. He's an absolute joke. Of course he was never going to stick with his word. Not only did that mug us off with his clever no. word, oh. but now he's going against what he said as well. Oh. Broken promises. Oh. I honestly thought they were being genuine tonight. I thought they were actually going to do it. The match had started. I thought it should be one on one, but no. We're still calling it Persian Empire outside interference. What a joke. But it wins the matches. We well, didn't last week. <laughs> Did it? Well, they got ganged up on it, became even numbers. Yeah, that's what wins the matches, cheating. <laughs> no, look at him, just clapping him. No, that's disgraceful, guys. Without you three here. What a set, what a set of blubbering idiots these three are as well. Just... Taking every word that old man says is gospel out there. They've definitely drank the Kool-Aid. Hey, okay, he's known as the boss. He's not the boss and he ever will be. Yeah, he's the boss of the Persian Empire. Trying to warn him, empires fall here. You gotta remember the Roman Empire back in the day did fall. Oh, history lesson from Sid <laughs> Phoenix. Welcome back to UK wrestling, actual wrestling, not the history channel with Sidney P. Oh, Big Duncan's mad at the barriers. I think he got a bit of aggro there off the crowd and made sure they knew it. He's there. Oh, and it's oh, all no. man. Oh, the, the ref was so close to what seeing a that joke. Man. So far, so far. Can you not get the job done? Is he, is he that worried about my dad that he can't oh, take him one on one? This is it. That huge chokes on my seat. Oh, the disrespectful cover, no. I started tonight so excited. Hey. We were so excited, Sid. Eight man tag match there. Oh, we're gonna see. Another. Going back to it, another one showing us how he can easily throw people over that top rope for our great British bash. I did warn him, it's random. He could be number one, he could be number 30. We knew we were gonna see Joe Sedgwick, we knew we were gonna see Wild Shake, we knew we've got the big eight man tag match. Everyone was in a good mood. And then these idiots ruin it for us all. So to go back to your point, you're right, it doesn't always run from a challenge. 
when he knows he's got three people willing to cheat the system so he's guaranteed uh, well, a win. We did get excited, we thought we were going to see the one-on-one, -on -one. we thought, oh, he's calling it, he's telling his, he's telling his team, get out, I've got this. We, we were dubious, when was Big Duncan at the start, we should have known. We should have known. He was hit in the back waiting for that sneaker set. Is it impartial if we boo them? No. They, and yeah, they, they've corrected what happened last week. They were on that losing streak. The team was... But it's interesting to note that the boss has had to get the win tonight here for the Persian Empire. You're talking to my best friend. I've got your back, CDP. Random numbers. Smell the only rose from here, by the way. We thought we'd seen the last of that celebration, them standing the tall on yeah. this stage. But no, it's back tonight. Persian Empire, Mustafa Khan, keeping hold of that UK You're giving me this a nice one, Matt! Matt, Matt, Matt here. Struggling. Using the support here of the ref and feeding off the crowd. Sit! The man won't sit! The yeah, Irish boots. I don't get why. You, I saw you look why? He keeps peeing up my boots. Sid. I don't Your get it. Your next match is a single match. Set for one fall. Making his way to the ring first. Cliff Harrison! Hey, he's welcome to his brand new shiny white boots. There is and I like it. But I don't want to steal that. There he is, though. He's it. He's it. He's not on the good side. He's not on the bad side. He's on the good side. <laughs> His words. A great promo when we first saw that. It was like, yeah, you can get behind this guy. It's hard not to like Cliff. Descendant, descendant from George Harrison. Godfather's I, Sir Cliff. I don't know. We're going to have to get someone to ask them questions. Are you making it up or do we need someone to interview him to find out if that is the truth? Listen, let's get answers to his opponent, Joe Sergio! Here we have a rematch from last week. The well, Crown Prince of UKW. Hey, last week, they're too much. The match they performed was unbelievable. You said it. This is what UKW is all about. This is what our academy is about. This is what's coming Perfect. through. And we won. Perfect advert for UK wrestling. And, and when we say UK wrestling, I don't mean the promotion UK wrestling. I mean a great advert for British wrestling. Telling us to beat him last week, I'm gonna hit the hard target. Little Joe Cedric calling his shots now. Him. Calling his nice shots see. now. He had a bit of a dip, but he got back to winning ways, and now he's happy again and Listen, confident. He didn't have a bit of a dip when he get jumped by <laughs> old man Stinkster, Funky Donkey, and the Wolf. I think it. If they can just do half of what they showed us last week, this match is going to be amazing. Yeah. Let's not commentate, let's just enjoy it. <laughs> let's just watch it. Oh, nice handshake there. From that. Oh. Oh. Cliff telling him it's not going to be easy yet. Oh, not letting go. Wow. He well, said wasn't an not, easy start. not gonna be easy on that back elbow there. Ouch. You don't even have to escape. Oh damn. Quick. Oh Whoa. damn. You can see. <laughs> so it's gonna be easy, Joe. <laughs> Joe knows after feeling that he's like, wow. Took a back elbow on the cliff side. <laughs> Oh, Joe, this time using the handshake to send off. Right, turnabout's fair play. Oh, but Joe not getting with that. He's back out of the thing. Nice shot to hold into the ropes. Oh, is he going cliff 1-9? <laughs> is it? No. Baseball side out. Oh, <laughs> Joe, just a smack in the mouth. Oh, oh Joe. Joe. I'm oh. The top issue you see there. I'm not going to lie, I was worried about this match. I didn't think they were going to be able to top what happened last week. But they are going for this one tonight. These two. Nice 
Just caught that hook in the leg. See it straight from the start. You can just a one. Hey, it's all about making wearing that opponent down. This crowd, hasn't had, this crowd hasn't had a chance to take a breath, so these two definitely haven't. Yeah, we thought he was going for that cliff one nine and just a <laughs> disrespectful smack in the mouth. Oh, and Joe not falling for that one. Joe saw him and then just stopped and halting him. Just firm forearms in the corner. Big European uppercut. Two there. Back into that head though. I think Joe just trying to slow this one down, trying to grind it down a little bit. Well, you see, he's probably felt it. The fast paced start, Cliff started with that. Coming at him like that, he's probably thinking, how do I get this guy? Oh. Absolutely. We talk about a lot about the experience thing, and Joe, despite his young years, very experienced in a ring. 14 years in a ring. <laughs> He's only had 15 on the planet, I think. <laughs> Referee doing a great job of making sure that the shoulders are down. So I would appreciate in the work here from Wolfman. Wow, what a shoulder tackle. Straight into the cover. Do you know the leg? You need to have a word. Ah, is he tired? Did he forget? Was it just oh. momentum that took him in? Make then? excuses for Lord <laughs> Joe Carr, yeah. <laughs> hey, if I'm a fan of him, I'll make excuses. We are the least impartial commentary pairing. <laughs> oh, oh damn! Larry there. How is he kicked out? Of, <laughs> that was on out instinct. Out of nowhere. He must be feeling foggy. He has no idea where he is. <laughs> How are these two living up to last week? <laughs> I was going to say. It's like, ah, oh, last week, unbelievable. Just big vertical suplex into the cover. Again, not hooking the leg. Maybe he's tired, Sid. Huh? He's tired. <laughs> or was it, is it positioning? Because oh. he hasn't dropped the hold there from that suplex. So Straight into that swinging neck breaker. Straight into the neck breaker and another kick out. <laughs> Still not letting go. Oh. Setting him Obviously. up for oh. that slam there. Setting Joe up. Is it is he's close that knuckle? Is he going up to the top? No. Like a world's strongest Wait, slam right? from Cliff. Oh. Oh. oh Joe. Just with a spark oh. of energy. Pulled the head oh. Through. Oh. Wow. Oh. Cliff is <laughs> out. He is right there. And what is he going for? Joe, turn him over. Are we going to see us tap Joe's here? got him in the double leg. And whilst it looks close to the ropes, you have to remember Cliff facing the he's other the way. He side. couldn't be further from where the ropes are. <laughs> but he's, he's done the right thing. He's turned rather they than tried it. to crawl. Joe too keen to, uh, to get that hold on. Didn't pull him out to the middle, but maybe the damage is done. Yeah. Cliff on the outside. Young Joe's going to follow him. Wow, just a strong forearm again. Oh, oh, oh and Cliff fighting back. Slamming it into the man there. Oh, what a back and forth affair this has been. Oh, oh we've seen Cliff do this before. He's looking for a chair. Yeah, struggling to get that chair. There it is. Yeah, sets it up. Joe, get into his feet there. Oh. Just bodies on the line here at UK Wrestling. I was going to say, I'm glad the ref is checking on them there. I thought it has to stop counting and check. Referee making sure they're all right more than <laughs> applying the rules and going for the count. But we saw him do this, was it against JPL? We saw Cliff from the outside using the chair to step up onto the barrier. Is it enough though, to get it here? That's oh. cover. Both men, you can see tired now. Again, Joe using the, the legs being free, using the momentum to drive his shoulders up. We talk about it before, all the all the effort it takes to drive those shoulders up off the mat. Joe looked out here. How can I say? I think he's just took the full body weight of Cliff there from from the, the top of our barriers. 
Joe with the win last week is, is Cliff going to tie the series? Oh, Joe with just enough momentum there to take it now. Suplex there, cover. Suplex. Just a two there. This match taking its toll on both men, they're both slow to move now. I was going to say, after that fast paced action you saw at the start, we're now seeing how it's affecting the ball. And what is he setting up for? Oh. What is he setting oh. up for, Are CDP? We into the cover. Two. Uh, I yes. don't know how many more Joe can take. I don't know how many more either man can take before this three is it. The heart of these two men to keep going, keep fighting here. Oh. Joe for a cover? No. Safe. Kicks in. Whoa. A stunner. Stunner, is that Into it? The cover. Oh. <laughs> what is it gonna take? Joe, He's just leaving it all out there. You can see Joe, he's looking, looking dazed, looking not there. Well, hopefully from ringside we've got a nice clear sort of flat angle, Joe Sedwick's chest, <laughs> the fall and rise of a man desperately trying to take on air. Oh, what's oh. Cliff? Oh. Was he going for that cliffside? Oh, Joe! Oh, oh Joe hitting his own move against him there! Joe hitting the cliffside against Cliff Harrison here! That modified that sit out of Aggie. Joe Sedgwick turning it around, what's he gonna take? Joe in, in, just in shock there, what's he oh, gonna Oh, he's take? calling for the hard target. Should he be calling for it now? Is he telling Cliff where he's going here? I don't think Cliff knows where he is, so he has no idea what's gonna happen. <laughs> Oh, Joe, just going to the second rope here. Well, he's seen Cliff stirring. Cross body? No, he's been caught. Oh, no. Whoa! Is that it? No! What is he gonna take? <laughs> Cliff just catching Joe there. Spinning him out, slamming him down. No! Not the end, still only a two here. Oh, you can see Joe out on his feet there. Ref needs to check here. Has he knocked out? Is Joe able to stand here? Oh, has Cliff awakened, awoken Joe? Sorry. Well, this is, it's come down to. this is what it's come down to. This is what it's come down to, a prison a fight. Fest. Here we go. Oh, Joe firing up. Joe, he's on. Is he going to hit it? Into it's the gotta cover. be! Oh. Cliff somehow getting the shoulder up. What is this gonna take? Looking at you. Joe looking at me, I'm looking back instead. He's in the one drop two by now. I'm thinking, this is over. Ring that bell. Are we seeing it? Going up. Oh, he's going for that blue thunder bomb there. And now Cliff able to cut him off. What's Cliff setting up for now? Looking for that clothesline. Oh! This must be it. One. And it is. Finally. It was finally enough to keep Joe Cedric down. And what we've got ourselves here is a 1 1 series. I was going to say, we've got to see a finale to this, sure. No, forget a finale, Sid. This has to be a best of seven. <laughs> Let's go best of seven, best of nine, maybe a best of 11 affair. Let's just let them go. We've booked, we've booked, sure, there you go, as assistant general manager of Friday Night Showdown, I've just booked the, the next nine showdowns for you. It's going to be Joe and Cliff fighting forever. Listen, Cliff Harrison promised him early doors that this wouldn't be easy. But, and he absolutely was right. It wasn't easy, but it wasn't easy for either man. Both men had to put in 110% there. Great effort from Young Joe. Good effort. Joe a bit dazed, I can't believe. 
the cliff. Told us he wants to level it up. He has done. But like you said, I'm going to take that to the hierarchy. It's higher than me and say, we need to see another. I can't leave this well, at one. First of all, there isn't an authority in world wrestling higher than you and I. <laughs> Second of all, as general manager, assistant general manager of Friday Night Showdown, I think we're perfectly placed to make that call. Your next match is a tag team match scheduled for one fall. Making their way to the ring first, the team of Tommy Dillon and Shane McToom. What is it? Wild Shake! There it is. Wild Shake time. Da -da 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 -da. I like to see that they've took on your name, that you did crown them. Well... You'll see Wild Shake merch appearing soon on UKWrestling.tv slash Henry Winner. Um, I'm just going to say, is that ever going to become a thing? That's what we need to take to hierarchy. That's what we need to take up the chain. Here they are, Team Wild Shake. Wild Shake, yeah, positive. Since teaming up, they've had, they've had a decent run, shall we say. Yeah, I think hit and miss. Hit and miss, a team you wouldn't expect to put together, but... Listen, I mean, let's be honest, they, they took on the tag team champs. So that's not an easy challenge. The big the big man himself, Andrew Jepson, the future Billy O'Keefe. That, that isn't an easy task, and they, they came up just short. There's no, there's no harm in that. They did get the better of big old Funky himself. Yeah. Which was a, a personal highlight, I enjoyed that very much. <laughs> I think Big Duncan still will not be and happy. Please with welcome that. to the ring one half of their opponents, Jacob Reed! Well, Jacob Reed making his way. We saw him last week. We did. Against JPR, he was. Well, it was a close fall, but closer than we thought it was going to no, be. No, we saw him go straight for that knee. Straight away, he hurt the knee. Okay. Shelby Sainar obviously missing out during her entrance that he is the man of a half dozen holds. We She's count not them. Listen to we him. counted them. <laughs> she hasn't watched Friday Night Showdown. <laughs> That's the problem. We'll have a word with her when she gets back. <laughs> Jacob Reed here. Well, it's a fair request from Jacob Reed. The, the, the two on one at the minute. Please let me get in the ring. <laughs> it looks like Shakes a bit. This is what we're waiting for. One of the highlights. One half of Team York Sedge. Yeah, interesting to see how he'll get on here working with Jacob Reed. Well, he's obviously two he's different a, personas. He's a there. random partner specialist. He's a <laughs> York, <laughs> random partner yes, specialist. Live here in the Yorkshire Dog. Apparently, we'll have here in the Yorkshire Dog. I think you need to remember this is the UKW Arena. It is. <laughs> and if it wasn't going to be the UKW Arena, clearly it'd be the Sid Winter Arena. <laughs> Well, Shelby, we, we need to talk to you. You've obviously not watched last week's Friday Night Showdown. Young Jacob Reed is the man of a half dozen holds, and you disrespectfully <laughs> didn't give him that nickname on his entrance. Luckily, he's not as grumpy as the old bald man with the belt is, so he didn't get in your face about it. The question is, will we see them half a dozen holds tonight from Jacob or Reed? Or some of them, or all of them, maybe new holds. I wrote, I wrote them all down on a list. <laughs> I think two of them were armbars. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Shane Matuia starting off, he's looking ready. Well, Shane Matuia a little bit more willing to tango with Jacob Reed than he was with the Man Mountain last week. <laughs> Maybe it gave him the confidence to try it now. But I mean, so listen, this isn't disrespectful, but this isn't. <laughs> This isn't Shake's strength, <laughs> is it? The grappling. We we know he's got the boxing back. There it is. You mentioned boxing, and he team brings it out here. I'm very good <laughs> at this job. 
Not only am I handsome, but I'm talented too. That's why we make such a good team, City. Look at them shots, then. Well, Jacob Reed just desperately trying to get away from him at that point. Oh, where is he going? Just trying to level the <laughs> level the highest there, Shane Mook to him. Is he going to get the 10? No, he only gets to 8. Jacob Reed out. On. Oh, is that a hold? I mean, There's going, one. <laughs> modified guillotine there, should we say? Ladies and gents, boys and girls, um, <laughs> let's keep a count together. We'll see if production can put a little one on the screen and we'll tick them off as oh. they go. But there we have it. I said, how would these two get on? Jacob Reed, not happy. Yorkshireman tagging himself into the Yorkshireman the just wants to have a go himself, doesn't it? I'm having it for your king. I'm having that one. Shame about Tim saying that he's never allowed your Yorkshire team. I mean, he's just missing out, really. Other tea companies are available. In fact, if you go on ukwrestling.tv slash Henry Winter, you'll be able to get a nice cup of Henry Winter tea. Let's get that quick. To River, get out of that and tag oh. himself out. Let's see if the Yorkshireman and the German get on any better. Sorry about that, I'm just having a bit of technical issues here. Sorry about that, but back to the action, sorry. Off mid, no. Oh, yeah, look at that pace from these two big guys here tonight. Is anyone good there? Just no block there by the Yorkshireman. Oh, ducks under. Yorkshireman holding on, avoiding that O'Connor roll, I'm going to say that. And Jacob Reed there, doing what the Yorkshireman did to him there by tagging himself in. Jacob Reed, big hip toss from the wild card, and Jacob Reed. Oh, he just grabbed him by the beard. I'm not sure that's entirely legal. Well, my boy City P has gone to see if we can't get those uh, Joe Cedric, Cliff Harrison matches booked. But meanwhile, huge sidewalk slam from the wild card. And a kick out from Jacob Reed. And these are the moments where the the disconnect between these two tag partners becomes important. Reed not tagging out there, saving himself, and instead trying to fight, but doing it successfully. Oh, and again, the auctionman tagging him. These two not on a level playing field at all here. City P back with us. Hopefully he's uh, come back that huge slam. Hopefully he's managed to get those Joe Sedgwick Cliff Harrison matches booked. <laughs> Let's say I just did talk to Joe Cedric there, I will say that. Well, Tommy Dillon. Oh, pick it up! Spine Buster! Spine Buster. Yorkshireman now. Oh, Yorkshireman not happy there. With... Oh, he's going for that three beaks. These are his three German suplexes. There we does. go, let's he keep count. One. Oh, keeping hold there. Two. Is he going to have enough strength to do the third here? No. Tommy Dillon here. Fighting. Oh. On Jacob Reed, the disconnect. We keep seeing these tags not tagging each other. What? Oh, there is a third peak. But he, he hasn't realised Jacob Reed has tagged himself in here. Oh well, it kind of was. Maybe we're seeing uh, Chris Lister something between these two. It was a nice double team manoeuvre there we saw, but the auctionman unaware that the tag was made because Jacob Reed just tagging himself. Are we starting to see something from these two working together? <laughs> Two different personalities, but as a team, are they working well? <laughs> what's he got? What's he got in mind here? Reed. Right. Oh, apologising to the auctionman there. Oh, I think, I think you might be right. Oh, another hold. That's two. <laughs> yeah. 
Are we just looking to wear down Tommy Dillon? Dillon trying to feed off this crowd though. Trying to elbow his way out here. Enough. Oh, headbutt. And again. Jacob Reed taking out headbutts though. Like they hardly affected him. Big shotgun drop kick though. And into the cover. Well, Reed to his credit, trying to take wrist control, trying to keep those arms down and the shoulders, but not enough. What? Is that a clean tag? Well, he was getting there. He was getting <laughs> there. And they're finally seeing the strengths of each other and thinking, this is working. Listen, it's the W that counts. That's what these two have maybe realised, that if, the, if they need to win together, that's what they have to do. There it is. And a clean tag. And... Jake can read and the Yorks when they're working yeah, together. Definitely, definitely starting to uh, to work together on this one. Oh, it's Jacob Reed looking for hold number three. Powering up that line, but missed. Powering up again, both men away. Oh, and both each men man hitting same. a clothesline. They had the same idea there. Wow, I need to remember his corner's that way. I was gonna say. Did look a little disoriented. <laughs> I thought, is he going to the wrong side? But this is his one chance. Pop tag. Here he is. Oh, Reed not Reed making not the tag. Tagging. Is that a mistake there? Shake. Has he got the strength? Oh, he can't. Has he got has it? He, oh, he did. Just. He did into the cover. Two. And the Yorkshire are coming to the save. Oh! And boxing strikes on Shane McToon, he is a fired up here! That's Big what? splash to Reed! Big splash to the auctionman! Shane McToon! <laughs> she got in store for Reed! Oh, Reed with a big boot to the chest! One to the mid! What's he setting up for it? Oh, it's another hold! Oh, it's the same hold we've seen there! Oh! oh I thought he was going for a third! Oh, oh, oh. two fighting out. Enough to get the tag. Tag to Tommy Dillon. Where's Dillon Jake going? Reed needs Reed to maybe missed the tag. Oh, come on! <laughs> and there you have it. A quick come on. Jacob Reed missing. Tommy Dillon taking that tag. Quick to climb to the top rope oh, to get. What a roller coaster that was. Again, maybe the inexperience did. Did Jacob Reed miss the tag? He was still working on Muck Tomb down low. Oh, but Yorkshireman shaking the hand there, Jacob Reed. Not, not bothered. And Yorkshireman not bothered. Oh, we've got, got a standoff, standoff between these four. Oh yeah. These four men stood in the ring here. Now what we're we gonna see? Oh, handshake from Shane Wade too. Show of respect here in the middle of the ring by all four men. Well, we knew this wasn't going to work. <laughs> Old Muck Tomb himself. Come on, <laughs> They've all got a drink here. Uh, available now at ukwrestling.tv slash Henry Oh, they even give him the referee on here. All five in the ring with a, with a shake here. All men going like to all corners here. <laughs> It's the most PG thing <laughs> you've ever seen. Wild shake, finally drinking shakes here. Five men enjoying a calcium enriched <laughs> beverage. <laughs> Available now at ukwrestling.tv slash Henry Winter. Get your wild shakes. They're coming a pack of four for 40 pounds. <laughs> Listen, I've got to keep CDP in jewelry. <laughs> And there's another victory for our team of Wild Shake. And nice to see at the start we saw 
Yorkshire and Jacob Reed struggling to work together. By the end, show your Sid. respect. Sid! It's time, Sid! Oh wait, sorry, I've just got a message coming through on my phone. It's very rude of me. It's from Mad Ed. There is boots, Sid. I know there is boots. It's just, he just wants to make sure, I think. But here we have it. Sid, we're at the end of time, Sid! It's and you know what it is? It's not two on two. <laughs> it's not even a four man. It's eight men. We had a few weeks ago, we had the most Royal. Me, 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 in a couple of weeks, we've got the over the top rope. But tonight, four on four. Be Tag be team be action. I'm excited. Representing the Persian Empire. Oh, now I'm upset again. <laughs> I was wondering if this peak of excitement would end when you realised who was in half of the teams. I've just got to tell myself, don't worry. Don't worry, Jepson's out there. I hope Leonie Rose don't come out. We haven't got any more air freshener at ringside. That's not true, actually. Team of Big Duncan, Yo Anton, Jeez. accompanied by Leonie Ross here. I'll get a sit. That's improved things ever so slightly. Okay, here you shoot your mouth. Sorry about that, boys and girls. Uh, no, you finished now, allowing that Persian Empire half ah. of the four men of one team. Old man couldn't Big. be bothered coming out, apparently. Big Duncan, Johan Hung. Obviously, Johan Hung finally lost last week. But can he get back to listen, winning ways here? Listen, Johan Hun. He's on a losing streak. He's lost 100% of the last one matches that he's had. Big Duncan. We've not seen Big Duncan wrestle since old Wildcheck makes him look a right fool. But he still has not been pinned or submitted. In fact, these three idiots in the ring right now have all lost 100% of the last one matches that they've had. They are on a losing streak, they're on a downer, and I dislike every one of them personally. And I'm their tag team partners but, making their way to the ring, the team of Robert Zaccaro and Remus Kane, the Society! I don't like these either. But we gave credit to Remus we for last week's last performance. Week's performance we saw of them, which got them that chance for the UKWE Tag Championships well, I guess, I guess, at Great British Park. What we need tonight is for Bobby to prove his worth as well, because they have got that they've got that tag team match based on the performance of Remus Kane last week. Obviously, they're going to want to show us what they've got tonight. They've got that huge opportunity, a great race bash. What an unholy alliance this and is. And if he can hold on to that ATC championship, Remus Kane will be two belts, Remus Kane. Well, so let's be real clear for the people <laughs> at home. Once this bell rings, <laughs> that ATC championship, not on the line anymore. Not on the line until the bell rings until again, rings again. At the end of the match. Well, let's be clear. If Funky Dunky decides right now to smash him in the back of the head and pin him, it's legal. It will be allowed, and we would have. And the first what mix, what mixed emotions I've got? I would, I would love to see it, but also I wouldn't. Made up of the Man Mountain, Andrew Jepson, the human Himalayas. In our other team, we have our UKW Tag Champions coming out, the new dog. The freak of nature that is the human Himalayas. The anarchist, the future Billy O'Keefe. Youngsters are ringside with signs for a new dawn. Welcome, confident here tonight. They'll be. It'll be interesting for them. They'll get to finally be in a ring against the society to see how they operate. Honest, the reason I'm so excited for this, there's so many moving parts. We've got the Persian Empire and all the problems that the UK locker room in general are having with them. I've just realised who's coming out next. Exactly this I one! I just realised! 
So you've got the Persian Empire and all their problems, society in a new dawn, a new dawn we met with the Persian Empire for the first time. And now we've got Jero and Cerebral Steam. We're going to finally see the two enforcers. Finally! They're going to have to be in the ring together. Old man can't take it away from us today. The two enforcers are finally going to meet. What I was so hyped over last week finally happening. It's happening. Sid, there's too much. There's too much going on. There's too much going on, Sid. Big Duncan, not happy. Yes, he's straight out pointing at Big Duncan. Duncan calling him in. There's too much going on, Sid. This is going to be too much to watch. Are they going to be able to stand on the apron and not attack? What's going on? Fancies you. Checks out. There we are. Look at them both men there. Locking up the enforcer against the enforcer. Oh, I thought Steve was going to jump in and kick him. I thought we were just going to do like a flying kick. Boys, this is it. This is what we've been waiting for. We're going to apologise up front because I'm not sure how good commentary is going to be. I'm just going to keep shouting. We really just want to see, first of all, Funky get his trunk kicked in and the other three get battered as well. Here comes Henry in a spoiler alert. They're all getting knocked out. <laughs> Members here have something to prove, shall we say? Oh, but there we have it, Big Duncan standing line to line. Steve asking for the ref, saying, "Come on." Bobby D and Leonie roasted next to each other. There was a lot of uh, orange hair in one space there for a moment. I am going to take this opportunity to point out Jero. Andrew Jepson, Billy O'Keefe, all part of the original collective lineup. This, this is a team. This side with the wild card of uh, Cerebral Steve. This is four idiots. It's, it's two factions trying to be the best, shall we say, in the other corner. And the Persian Empire are they, isn't are they gonna, gonna work together? Well, the Persian Empire aren't gonna tag in the society, and I can't see a world where Remus Kane and Bobby D trust the Persian Empire either very much going to be a case of four on two on two. Oh, we're going to go straight away with Big Tipsy and Funky Dunky. <laughs> Bell's not wrong. Bell has ATC not is not on the line. The Playtime Mafia. ATC is on the line. Hit him. Oh, where's ATC? Hit him. He's fine. fine. Kicking off! <laughs> Get him, Jameson! Oh, I'm gonna lose it. Well, we have it. Two men are in the ring. Is the ref gonna finally? Oh, I need a minute. Control. Where's me? Where's me? Whoa. Sid. Right. We are underway. Yeah. Our main event. We, how are we only just underway? This. This is everything that I've wanted. <laughs> How are we starting this match with the freak, the human Himalayas, the people Pennines, the man Mountain Andrew Jepson against old Funky Dunky? Oh, are we going to see it now? Is he going to tag out in forces? Oh, Steve wants it. You know he does. Give him. Oh! Jepson giving the people what they want. This is it. And Forster and Forster, we were denied last week. It's going. Oh, oh. He's like a like a like a ah. true Mustafa Khan prodigy. Ah. Off he runs from a time. Oh Steve! Oh. He just kicked kicked your nuts head off! And I was gonna smash him in it! Sid! <laughs> Sid! Oh. Oh. Here the comes Gerald Lewis! And there goes the wolf boy's arm! Let everyone have a go. Who's next? Billy? Oh, the man mountain! <laughs> He's going oh. 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 Listen, let's admit at this point we're just members of this crowd. I'm 
you're gonna Here see goes Billy O'Keefe. Hey. Oh. Goodbye, Wolf Boy's front paw. These quick tags here, making sure each member is fresh. These two hot, and here comes Billy O'Keefe oh, as a weapon. Wind it up. And out for the forearm. And now, Jepsy. Oh. Oh. oh, Billy oh, O'Keefe again. Billy winding them up here. Getting into the heads. We mentioned it earlier. Trying to listen, let's calm down and do <laughs> our job. This, for, these four working as a team. Those for, well, but not had a chance. Dunkey ran away and now uh, Wolf Boy's getting a smashing. Is that the mistake they made? Oh, oh. Dunkey. Where goes Cerebral Steve? No. No. Oh! Tam! <laughs> this tag action we had. Another tag. This might be over before these three have got in. Oh! I was going to say someone needed to do the society using their brain. Are going to go for a double suplex? Oh, wait, look! Here comes Billy O'Keefe. Bill? You're going to give them two the double suplex. Ah! Oh! Here's Bobby D. Robert Triple Blair. suplex. What? My man's oh, on the mountain. Oh! They don't get it. Oh, no! Oh, damn! Like a bowling ball into skills. <laughs> I'm just picking him up like nothing. Big Duncan just <laughs> cleans out. We didn't know what was going on in the big Duncan cleaning house. It was like a nursery teacher <laughs> mad at all the kids. He just swept them out of the way. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, Ref here trying to get control of it. Finally getting the two legal competitors back on the ring. Oh, Johan makes a tag there. Oh, no. Yes, this is the worst case scenario, j -Row. Get to the car. Oh, no. Oh, wow. We used it. He's like a child he just picked up. Now the member of the society looked keen to ask Big Duncan for a tag though. <laughs> but they're looking pleased so it's that finally the big oh. man is in. And a tag to Remus Kane. Our on the club champion now in the ring here. Well listen, the boys in the in the near corner have proven to us that they absolutely can work as a team. So these wanting to do the same, maybe realizing they're gonna have to work together. What a huge suplex on Jero Lewis. So one. It's got that rear naked, that sleeper hole. What you can see. Jets in here, eager. Billy O'Keefe, eager to get in to see what the society are like. All three of these just Even desperate to get an advantage of taking them on early. Just that back elbow there. And then an uppercut. So that might take down. No. What's he looking for? Just a running boot to the mouth. Jero might be out here. And look at the pin, nice and in that corner. Barely a two. Just a little, but he's at least 90% heart. He gives it his all every match. And where's Bobby going? Oh, we see that running knee hits. Impact to the onto back that of the shoulders. Good showing here from Robert DeCara. Is he showing us what, what the new Don could be in for? DeCara. Robert DeCara. DeCaro. Yeah, DeCaro. Yeah. He's checking. It's not DeMarco, I got told no, after that. It is not his name. His name is DeCaro. Bobby DeCaro. Wolf Boy here. Oh. I never get names wrong. Wolf Boy with the kicks. Young Hunter. Wolf Boy with the kicks. Oh. Oh. oh! He's looking for some sort of armor. No, he's, he's going up. for a triangle. Oh, he's, it's the armbar. He's got the armbar in. Oh, Steve McLean! Cerebral C doing his job protecting Jero Lewis. You can see Duncan not happy there. I thought straight away, Duncan not happy. Steve in. He was like, give me that tag. Just give me that tag. Man Mountain out here is desperate to get in. Absolutely desperate. With it being Big Duncan, I think Steve is as well. What's oh, just. Oh! oh! You catch him on the arm, catch him. Oh, oh, oh it's oh, society! Society! I've been quick enough. Big Jepson trying to get the tower. Oh, oh. Caro taking Jepson out. What a set of clowns. You say clowns, but we said they were a team, but. The execution there, the, to take rid of that tag. They have already worked on J.R.L. Lewis here, time and time. Stopping him getting that tag and just inflicting more and more damage. 
Big right hand from Bobby. Looks like James and Steve and Billy back up into the corner. A little, little slow, a little sluggish. Is this it? Jero looking to create some separation. Oh! Is this it? Is this over? Again, the heart of Jero Lewis kicking out from that. Desperately needs to get some separation and make it to his corner. Absolutely desperate. Big forearm. On ducks the clothesline. Oh, it's a double clothesline. Both men with the same idea. But is this the moment? DeCaro down. Jero looking to make the tag. Here comes Billy O'Keefe and Remus K. It's a rematch when they're facing it. When Back Billy elbow. desperate to get revenge here on the sneak attack. And Remus K oh, to win that around the corner. Big line in the corner. Billy O'Keefe immediately cutting this ring in half. Taking K to to their corner, to the home corner. Rip corner and here we go. Into. Jepson using Billy O'Keefe as a weapon. In comes Cerebral Steve. Are we doing same again? Oh. Boom, and another one. Steve, Steve now winding up. Watch it here. The tag it kicks. Oh, that huge jumping ruined me. Is this it? Oh, oh I thought that was it. I can't yeah, take this. The Persian it's... Empire didn't even look to break the cover there. They just looked in disgust. Look at them. Not happy at the society here. Oh, and Steve calling his shots now. Oh, we got it. Big dog, come here, we go. We were denied last week, but here it is. So oh, you see Sid. Big dog. Sid. No. Oh, boom. Oh, Billy, kick Billy him. kicking him in the mouth. So we will see you for the second. Tag to Jero. Big dog can catch him. Catch him. Throws him to one side. Jester. Jester. He oh, catches him. He catches him. He throws. Throws oh, Jester away, but Jester made the tag to oh. Billy O'Keefe. Billy. And now James Billy. made the tag. No. Oh. Sid, no. Sid. 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 He's not. Big James. With a huge cross body. Down goes Duncan. What an enormous cross body from the free thing. to finally get him down. Owen Jensen arrives. Jensen flying like a cruiserweight. In comes Billy O'Keefe and Remus Kidd. How was that not eight six? Oh. There we have it. Remus telling him I've took one title off you. I'm going oh, to take that title. Two. Oh, Billy really looking to steal one. Quick there. Just oh. seen this match has just got everything. Oh, oh yeah, on. Well, the referee looked like, but we made a point of talking about this. Not, the referee needs to realise the title isn't on the line. When the a bell rings, match. the title is not on the line here. I would have voiced over for him if that had been a free to letting him know there is no change of hands. But but Remus Kane was trying to get away here. Well, the only Rose now looking for a roller, but again, the title is not on the line because Kane is in a but, sanction. But Remus Kane's disappearing. He's, where, where's he going here? Remus just 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 escaping here by our audience with that round the clock championship. That leads us down to three against four here. Oh yeah, Keith! No ruining life. Bill Keith, what's he saying up for you? Tags in Cerebral Steve. Steve then tags. Big Jeps. Please don't oh. fly again, Jeps. I couldn't take it with the oh. Olympic slam. Pick him up that slam. We're losing. But what we seen here from Persian Empire. Tag. They just left ringside here. Oh. Oh. Olympic slam. Billy O'Keefe. Is he going small to the counter here on his own? He's got no support. Oh. Flipping centre. Into the cover. Playtime Mafia win. But why did the Persian Empire just jump down? We saw 
Remus Ken just disappearing here. Not wanting to lose that around the clock championship. Just not happy about everyone trying to take advantage. Well, listen, but listen, if you're partner, watching on YouTube I now, ignore Sid, rewind and watch the Man Mountain fly off the top row into Big Duncan. That's all you need to watch. And then we'll come back to now. Come and join us now. Welcome back from that moment. <laughs> As Sidney P says, questions need to be asked. There, first there, of all, there are lots of questions here. First of all, we need to talk to the Persian Empire because someone needs to talk to them about first of all that, that around the clock title not on the line during a sanctioned match. But also, why are they prioritising that over this tag team match? We need to talk to Remus Kane for abandoning his partner. And everyone needs to talk to the Man Mountain for flying off the top rope into Big Donkey. I, I was gonna say, what what is Robert De Caro gonna think when his partner just bailed on him like that, protecting his own championship? What the mother? Oh, oh she wants it! it. Oh, oh, Bobby! Robert De Caro could have just made the biggest mistake of tonight. Oh, yeah. Come and join us! What? Oh, 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 Bobby took a big smile. Wolf one nine. Wolf one nine. Yes! Wolf on nine from Wolf! Oh, oh no, not this! Oh, as if Bobby D's night couldn't have got worse. I'm gonna say, oh, I think that was the worst mistake of his night. Partial, what's happening? Not What have we seen? The Persian Empire obviously not happy that Robert Nagara cost them the match. But is that close again from seeing Enforcer and Forcer? Just did you lose enough to get and in? What is Mustafa Khan going to say about another he loss? He comes out, wins his match earlier. Yes, he won it, not in a great another way. Another loss on well, the record of the Persian loss. Empire. They will argue they didn't take the pin. Another loss on the record of the Persian Empire. Sid, somebody needs to get answers and somebody needs to get them quick. We'll leave it there. That is all we've got time for. Hopefully we will get them questions answered. It's been my pleasure. It's not all we've got tonight. time for. It's not. There's more time. Listen, these three have let him down again. The old man's going to be upset. Those four are awesome. Poor Bobby D's night went from bad to worse. Hey, we've got to see if we can get... He got abandoned by we Remus Kane. someone can ask questions to Mustafa Khan, shall we say, to see what he feels about tonight. <laughs> the, the destruction they caused. But yes, it is the end of showdown tonight. That is all I've got. Who are you? I don't can't remember winning a match after being on such a hot streak. BOGM and my co-commentator in Wait. Henry Winner and best Wait. friend. Wait, Sid... That camera, are we going to give him one of these? Hey. Hopefully we see you again. Good night.